Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for the month of July 2022. All right, darling Virgo? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below, Virgo, how this tarot reading resonates. All right, darling, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, by the way, Virgo. All right, it's completely free to do, and it helps out this tarot reading channel a lot, darling, okay? Um, be sure as well, Virgo, when it comes to consuming general tarot readings, that you cater the energy to your chart, not just one zodiac sign of yours, all right? darling check out your sun moon rising and venus sign virgo all right we're going to be doing three rows this week for your weekly reading virgo we're going to be getting into your career and your financial situation all right in the first row in the second row virgo we're going to be getting into your social life this could be platonic this could be romantic this could be an ex-friend ex-relationship co-worker honey family darling your social life honey right and then uh we're going to be getting into in your third row just some general messages that you need to be hearing at this time virgo all right so starting this energy out for this week for you darling virgo we have this six of pentacles accompanying you darling all right this is really beautiful here if someone has a very direct message right off the bat if someone has been owing you money or it's like i <laughs> hear like reparations now like karma is coming into play here maybe some of you virgos have been waiting to um have like someone's been you've been waiting for someone to receive their karma in a situation or you've been waiting to receive like a message from them you've been waiting to receive money back from them someone paying you off all right where or maybe you've been ex you've been expecting something virgo all right and this week you're going to be getting closure in that situation so closure can look like in a positive way or in a negative way honey all right but at the end of the day you'll know like <laughs> you'll know what the t is right and you're not going to be feeling as if like you're left in the dark all right so in your first row here virgo we have the ten of wands the moon energy here as well as the tower card coming in here for you darling all right right so this isn't a pretty setup i'm not gonna lie to you virgo all right i feel as if for you guys here um this is like a, one more step that's necessary for you guys darling it's like you guys have been in this period of just like struggle virgo all right you guys have been struggling to pay the bills you've been struggling when it comes to advancement in your career because of just like this current situation that you've been dealt with right there's not much you can really do with that situation there all right so i acknowledge this period of struggle for you but i am really optimistic about seeing this tower energy here virgo all right so don't allow this to spook you because with that tower energy the tower energy is not like i feel like people see the tower energy as like the universe deciding just to like lightning bolt your house just to be like a direct f you virgo you know but that's not the situation at all it's like your spiritual team sees the situation, the conundrum that you're in, darling. I can't spell it. Don't ask me to, darling, right? They see the conundrum that you're in, but the only way to fix the conundrum, the only way to fix the issue, darling, is to have that tower moment, all right? So that tower moment is going to look very different for everybody. We'll get into clarifiers with this, so you'll be better prepared, Virgo. But again, I'm not concerned whatsoever about this for you, darling, all right? Now, in regards to, and I, my moon's in Virgo, honey, all right? And my best friends are virgo so i'm invested virgo so before you're just like it's e before you try to say that it's easier for me to feel that way whatever whatever honey don't try to dismiss my journey honey <laughs> <laughs> all right virgo i'm playing uh in regards to your social life your second row here we have the nine of swords ace as well as six of wands coming in here Ooh, darling so many of you guys have been waiting to hear back some type of message from somebody virgo Ooh, it's my this is like a spicy message honey have you been waiting here back from like a friend perhaps or somebody this is a direct message here virgo where it's just like whatever whoever you've been having that those sleepless nights with right that nine of swords is the sleepless is the epitome of the sleepless night just overall anxiety you're up left up constantly thinking about it at night wondering if they're gonna message you what they're gonna say if they message you what have you right ace of wands here with the six of wands six of wands is my favorite card in the tarot deck for the minor arcana because it represents that success it represents uh happiness and just like a spotlight being being put on a situation that you felt left in the dark about which you definitely felt left in the dark about it because you have that moon energy as well like you just you probably feel as if like you are the uh co-star of your own life currently because you just feel like everything is just so out of your control right so in regards to your social life here you're getting direct affirmation you hear back from them and presumably in a really positive way here all right you're no longer going to be constantly left in thought left in wonder about what this person is thinking or feeling or wondering if they're going to pay you back like you're no longer questioning virgo all right we'll unpack this more in a little bit of course darling right let's get into your general terror messages here your general messages rather 
<sighs> you have the sun as well as the hanged man with the two of pentacles, darling. Okay. So your story right now is like you're juggling with a lot right now, Virgo. All right. You're juggling with a lot. And so if you have been really hard on yourself or feeling just really fatigued lately. All right. It's don't be feeling bad, darling. All right. You're juggling with a lot. The only reason why it doesn't feel like a lot to you is because you're just so used to dealing with a bunch of stress. But if anyone else was dealing with what it is that you're currently dealing with, Virgo, many people wouldn't last. Many people would probably break, darling. All right. So um, let me just get that first and foremost clear. All right, okay, honey. So um, I do feel as if dress changes are in the air for you in the coming weeks here virgo all right i feel like it's going to start showing signs this week of how these tra drastic transitions happen all right it's not going to be just like well you you'll get you'll start receiving signs of when that tower moment's about to be happening right just like when you kind of can tell when a uh, lightning's about to be striking honey like your hair starts picking up like things you'll notice the signs so pay attention to the signs here you have the best card in the tarot deck here with the sun card which is quite literally the antithesis i believe believe is the proper word for it for the moon energy right where you're illuminating things where you felt initially left unknown it's the most positive card in the tarot deck here virgo all right this is this right here is a direct confirmation as to why i felt optimistic about what's happening for you here all right virgo because the storyline behind the hanged man is like the hanged man had to commit to this decision to be the hanged man darling all right the hanged man had to commit to this but the hanged man did not see the sun that's right behind them until after they had this 180 change of perspective here but that change of perspective is necessary for them all right that change of perspective is necessary for this hanged man and so they don't see the happiness until on the other side of that journey so they don't see the happiness until after that tower moment for you all right so I hope you see, understand my thought process a little bit. The only way to stop you juggling so much in your life here, right? Trying to keep your head afloat, Virgo, is that tower moment. It's necessary for you, but it's happening for you, not against you or not to you. All right. So let's just firstly start um, unpacking a little bit more, Virgo, your career and financial spread here. Remembering that it's that tower, moon, as well as 10 of wands energy here. What more, what more substance can we get out of this here darling nine of pentacles here the world card coming in here with the wheel of fortune knight of wands in the back of the deck here powerful 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 so as a tarot reader right you whenever you see a bunch of major arcanas darling that's a big sign that big transitions are happening you got four major arcana in one row darling all right <laughs> so for you guys here like this confirms why it was i wasn't a liar darling here virgo all right if you stayed with me from the beginning darling this is why you trust the process here all right this is why you trust the process not me gloating right now because this is you needed this change the world card is the final card in the major arcana talking about the closure of the cycle the closure of that period of where you're just juggling again this your common theme here where it's just like you're constantly lifting heavy burdens heavy loads darling all right so it's like it's necessary for you to have that tower moment darling because it's through that change of perspective it's through that drastic shift that many people are just trying to avoid darling that's when happiness happens for you the wheel of fortune starts turning in your favor virgo all right with the nine of pentacles here the nine of pentacles is a very positive card where you're taking care of where you're able to pay your bills especially for those maybe you're going to be finding a way to uh get an extra stream of revenue or maybe you're going to find a way to currently increase how much money you're making in your current job here things are going to be working out whatever the case is for you virgo all right but be expecting that tower moment that is necessary all right you're not going to get to this energy here without accepting this energy initially all right but you have to trust the process here virgo please 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 darling Ooh, whenever i got those clarifiers virgo all right i kind of got a little bit of goosebumps honey just because i was just like it just proved my points and the cards that we got for it just it's just so beautiful it's just so fitting like i wish if you don't if you're not familiar with tarot like i wish you were virgo because it's like if you know tarot cards you can really appreciate how those cards just really lay themselves out all right so anyways <laughs> virgo let's get into the social situation here this nine of swords ace of wands with that six of wands there this is talking about how you're going to be receiving some type of message some type of closure with somebody that you've been kind of like on your toes like waiting to hear back from just being like all right what are they going to do what are they going to say are they going to honor this what i said you know whatever the case is for this per for you personally virgo 
All right, because I don't know your business, honey. All right, you have the strength, the hermit, as well as the page of wands stepping forward here for you. All right. Mm -mm. So I feel like overall, this seems to be a pretty positive message here, Virgo. I do get this sense for you after you hear back from this person here initially. <sighs> It opens something up for you. It opens up something up. Let's clarify this page of wands with one more. It opens up with this eight of cups here, Virgo. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's almost as if Virgo, someone just gives you the final reason of like the final confirmation Virgo of being like, oh, that's why I didn't want to mess with this person anymore. That's why I didn't want to talk to that person anymore. It's like you are ready, Virgo kind of in your head knew how you're going to be handling the situation with this person but you still wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt or it's like you still wanted to give them enough rope to hang darling okay like you still wanted to give them enough rope to hang virgo and so it's just like you kind of just like like you kind of just anticipated it all right you just you you, <laughs> you anticipated this from the gecko and they just confirm everything that it was that you were suspicious about so whatever that looks like for you let's get into some final confirmation cards for you for your general messages here remembering it's that hanged man two of pentacles with that sun energy you have the nine as well as the seven of wands here with the high priestess energy darling all right yeah, I mean, this is where it's just talking about Virgo, where it's like your intuition was very spot on, darling. All right. I feel as if you need to just stay the course. All right. This speaks about where it's just like for you. A lot of y'all's journey, Virgo, starts really being strengthened once you stop messing with people. All right. It's like this sense for many of you, Virgos, I get where y'all are probably feeling called to be honoring your hermit state, Virgo, right? It's your most empowered state. Um, where you're just like you know what people are predictable this world like i don't know it's like the sense of where for you virgo it's like you realize like people are predictable the world is predictable so i might as well just take make that to my advantage right instead of trying so hard to um be different i don't know i don't know where that message came in but it's just like you it's like something this week for you virgo and i think it's due to your social situation that it just like it just puts a switch in you virgo where you're just like you know what why am i trying so hard to resist why am i like i don't know that's what i get for you but um <laughs> let's wrap this weekly tarot reading up virgo with some oracle cards here all right darling hopefully this tarot reading gave you some resonance be sure to let me know in the comments below if you did virgo all right you have the new moon coming in here very fitting for you darling very fitting virgo i mean considering the cards that we had a new start is coming do we need to even express the message even further darling right i feel like we get the point we don't need to hear my rambles because you know i can ramble virgo your animal or card is the falcon card act on the opportunity that's before you and qu commit to it without equivocation here virgo all right this is about action here honoring your gut really virgo all right to give yourself more credit if you haven't already virgo you guys are just insanely smart you're insanely intuitive you see life right now like a book like you read it like a book darling all right and so read it right it's like this sense of where it's like you you are so good at poker like you can count cards i don't know how poker works but it's like you can count cards you can make sure you win every single time honey but you don't use it to your advantage because you want to just be different you want to play by the rules or what have you darling and it's just like why why because you always end up being like you always feel it always feels as if you're the one that's taken advantage of you always end up on the losing side because people just can't be good right because the word like whatever you know i can go into a tangent with that for you virgo but i love you so much darling virgo this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you darling if you did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe virgo all right darling if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply velka Dot com. Next to my social medias, if you'd like to connect with me, Virgo, on a more intimate level, TikTok and Instagram both are just being simply Velka. Same as here, darling. But until next time, Virgo, I love you so much, my beautiful darlings. Bye.